Hey, Mike's Myron Horse Overland and Deb over on the other side of the truck. And we have left Hendersonville, North Carolina. It was beautiful. And we are now in South Carolina getting ready to start the Georgia Traverse. And we will be uh, heading up to uh, Atlanta for Scottles and Bottles. So if you're going to be there, Look out for us, say hi. We like meeting new people. And I think it's gonna be awesome. And then there she is, my beautiful co-pilot and Navigator Extreme and Gunner's in the truck. But yeah, we're heading to, uh, heading to Georgia on the Georgia Traverse. We're looking forward to it. So uh, stay tuned and we'll come out with some more, come with some more stuff in a little while. Just the beginning of the Georgia Traverse, kind of like a uh, Forest Service road off a of highway, what, 107? Yep. Yeah, it's beautiful though. The colors are spectacular. Um, North Carolina, Virginia. When we were in Virginia, it was just starting to turn. We go left or right. Virginia was just starting to turn and we got into North Carolina and it was turning like a big dog and now yeah, we're good. it's uh, really turning. A lot of beautiful golds and reds and there, we were camped in North Carolina outside of Brevard in Transylvania County. We brought out the garlic just in case. Yeah, we had garlic cloves all over the tent. <laughs> you never know. I watched uh, Underworld way too many times. But uh, super cold, and even in the daytime. Not like Hendersonville where it was warm during the day and cold at night. It was slightly chilly. And Arrington was the same way. So we're ho I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, not as cold. Because if it, if it continues to be cold, I'm plotting a course to Florida and I'm gone. But yeah, so very beautiful. Um, so far, oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Went over a little bridge here. Can you see? Just this little river. Oh, Mike's side is prettier. We need to wash our windshield. Yeah, windshield's dirty. Look at that. You're welcome, South Carolina. Oh, just gorgeous. This is our first time doing the uh, Georgia Traverse. And so, you know, so far so good. Woo, dirty windshield. Yeah, you can. That's my little dragonfly. You can turn it off. All right, everybody, have fun. nice so far nothing hard you know
He says that right as we hit a bunch of ruts. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> In road... one half mile, turn right, then arrive at destination. The road's uh, a bit rutted out and uh, has some potholes, but not, nothing not, too bad. Not bad at all. But who wants to drive fast when it is this beautiful? Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and, and I've always wanted to do it. And we were in like 20 miles, 30 miles from it or whatever, an hour. Um, so why not? We got to be in Atlanta on Sunday and uh, this is on the way. So perfect. Why take, you know, road, regular roads when we can take this? When we can do see all this view. That. Yeah. It is uh, definitely worth coming out here and checking it out. Again, so far nothing, nothing hard, nothing technical. No, it's just a forest service road with occasional ruts and potholes. Yeah. But other than that, fairly well maintained, well graveled. Narrow, so if somebody else was coming the other way, yeah, you gotta. You, you have to figure it out. You both gotta hug the shoulder if possible. But um, uh, it's I just do, beautiful. I do suggest tearing down because otherwise you're just getting your kidneys beat to death and your and your truck beat to death on potholes and stuff. We're down to like 22 in the front, 23 in the back, and 27 on the trailer. And it's Turn comfy. Right. Yep, nice and comfy. All right, we're coming up to, uh, I got to do some re-navigating. Yeah, we'll come back to you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Just this kind of stuff everywhere. Look at the colors. Come to Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina in October it is stunning. Well, it's about five o'clock and we found an awesome camp spot on the Georgia Traverse. It is beautiful, nothing hard. And I mean, look at that. I mean, if you haven't done this trail, you really need to do this trail because it is absolutely beautiful, especially with all the trees changing. I know we've already said that, but oh my goodness. So I'm gonna show you, look at this down here. Look at those colors, Carlo. Oh yeah, but Coming up, had to stop, take a break if you know what I mean. I saw this little trail right here off to the side of the road. That's one of the things that so far has been lacking is really nice camp spots. They're all small little pushouts, kind of like the Dempster Highway. I saw this and I decided to see where it went in hopes that because I don't want to camp off the side of the road where people can see me. I'll never get to sleep. So you come down here and look at this. It opened up. Now, get in the truck. You got some little rock steps you had to go, I had to go over. Nothing big. And uh, look at this. just gorgeous and my girl got in here no problem had to do some playing with three-point turns to get it in but no big deal look at that and that's what we're gonna look at look at in the morning when we wake up had to come move this old tree over here on the right it was dead and come over the top of this Hook a, hook a turn 
And then at that tree right there, had to do a three pointer over here, do a three pointer over here, over here. And then I got in and pulled up there and then backed in. My the honey found a good camp spot. Yeah. This one's all him. Yeah. She, she usually finds the camp spots. So I'm happy. And I hope everybody's going to have a great evening because I know we are going to. We will talk at you after a while.